assalamu alaikum students of class 6 i hope you are all fine in new oxford modern english book 6 we were on the poem the old brown horse where today we are going to start our exercise with part a understanding the poem question 2 on page 24 mark these statements as true or false and the first statement we have here is the old horse is pleased with life bura ghora zindagi se khush hai that's a wrong statement we have read in the poem that he is not happy at all the old horse likes having visitors bura ghora visitors rakhna pasand karta hai that's a true statement as he loves being visited by the people people who drive past are interested in the horse log jo wahan se guzarte hain वो घोड़े में दिलचस्पी रखते हैं द पोम सेज दैट नो बडी सीम्स टू माइंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ हॉर्स सो इट्स अ रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट लास्ट स्टेटमेंट इज द हॉर्स डज नॉट लाइक बींग टस्ड घोड़ा टच किया जाना पसंद नहीं करता सो अगेन इट्स अ रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट क्वेश्चन थ्री आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विद रेफरेंस टू कॉन्टेक्सट हेयर वी हैव दिस रेफरेंस फ्रॉम आर पोम Oh thank you friend for the kindly thought for a horse who has had his day Oh shukriya dost ek raham dil soch ke liye ek ghode ke liye jisne apne din guzar diye ya jisne apne acche din guzar diye The question related to this reference is the underlined phrase means we need to tell the meaning of this underlined phrase has had his day Option A has become tired of his life अपनी जिंदगी से तंग आ चुका है या थक चुका है हैज लिव थ्रू एन अदर डे एक और दिन गुजार चुका है एंड ऑप्शन सी इज हैज नाउ ग्रोन ओल्ड अब बूढ़ा हो चुका है दिस इज द राइट ऑप्शन फ्रेज हैज हैड हिज डे मीन्स दैट द हॉर्स हैज नाउ ग्रोन ओल्ड घोड़ा अब बूढ़ा हो चुका है Let's move on to the question 4. Do you think there is a rhyming pattern in the poem? What is it? Here we need to identify the rhyming pattern in the poem. It is a rhyme. Rhyme is a repetition of similar sounds in two or more words and mostly we consider it at the end of the lines of poetry. Poetry mein misron ke aakhir mein hum awaaz alfaaz ki repetition ko hum rhyme bolte hain. For example, news and views. So the answer to this question is yes there is a rhyming pattern in the poem the odd lines rhyme like a b c b d e f e last word of second line rhymes with the last word of fourth line and the last word of sixth line sounds similar to the last word of eighth line the rhyming words are like way day mind blind trim him sad had question 5 which words and expressions tell us that the poet cares about the horse poem mein aise kaun se words ya expressions hain jo ye batate hain ki poet ghode ki parwah karta hai ya uska khayal rakhta hai the poet makes the horse sounds pitiable through these expressions poet in expressions ke zariye ghode ko qabil e rehm banata hai I am simply watching. मैं बस देख रहा हूँ Nobody seems to mind. कोई भी परवाह करता दिखाई नहीं देता A horse who is lame and half blind. एक घोड़ा जो कि लंगड़ा और आधा अंधा है These expressions tell that this old brown horse is pitiable and the poet cares about him. Now let's jump to the part B. Working with words. Here are some words from the poem they may be used when speaking about the horses and riding. Here we have some of the words which poet has used when speaking about horses and riding. Ghodo ya sawari ke bare mein yani ghur sawari ke bare mein ye kuch alfaaz hain jo poet ne poem mein use kiye hain. Where coat and mane means or they refer to the hairs of horses. Riding yani ghur sawari लेम लंगड़ा घोड़ा एंड ट्रॉट रेफर्स टू द रन और जंप ऑफ द हॉर्स हेयर आर समर्ड्स विच वर्ड्स मे बी एडेड टू द लिस्ट अबव 
Circle them. If you don't know the meaning, look them up in a dictionary. Here we have a list of some other words. In words में हमने identify करना है कि ऐसे कौन से words हैं जो कि घोड़ों या घुड़सवारी के लिए इस्तेमाल किए जा सकते हैं. And we need to circle them. Here the first word is race, yani dor. Obviously, it is related to the horse. We can circle it. Stirrup. Stirrup is a frame to hold foot of a rider. Good sawar ke paon rakhne ke liye frame ko hum stirrup bolte hain. Obviously, it is related to the horses. We can circle it. Library. It is not related to the horses. Fetlock. Fetlock is a joint of horses leg. Goro ke takhno ko bhi hum bol sakte hain fetlock. That's why we have circled it too. Saddle. Saddle is a seat on the back of horse. घोड़े की पुष्ट पर सीट रेन यानी लगाम अ लॉन्ग नैरो स्ट्रैप टू कंट्रोल हॉर्स घोड़े को कंट्रोल करने के लिए एक लंबी स्ट्रैप या रस्सी कैशू यानी काजू जंप छलांग लगाना टर्निप टर्निप इज अ वेजिटेबल नेम गैलप गैलप इज अ टाइप ऑफ रेस ऑफ हॉर्सेस हेडिंग हेडिंग refers to the title of uh, some topic canter canter means or it refers to the movement of horses or speed of horses spade is a tool spade yani belcha shetland pony it is a type of breed of horses that is small rough coated breed shoe here this shoe refer to the metal shoe to protect horses foot घोड़ों के पाओ को महफूज रखने के लिए मेटल के शू इस्तेमाल किए जाते हैं टर्ट इट इज अमॉल टॉवर ऑन द टॉप ऑफ अ लॉन्ग टॉवर हुफ हुफ रेफर्स टू द फुट ऑफ अ हॉर्स आफ्टर लर्निंग अबाउट द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट ऑल द सर्कल्ड वर्ड्स कैन बी एडेड टू द लिस्ट अब एज दे आर रिलेटेड टू द हॉर्सेज एंड हॉर्स राइडिंग सो दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू सो मच स्टूडेंट्स एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़